Okay, hi, this is Steve from Ultraceps T-Shirt Color Separation Software. And today I'm going to answer a very basic question, but it's one that I get, you know, more often than not. And that is when someone gets a simple one color RGB Photoshop image and they attempt to output that image to film, it prints as a halftone and not solid black. And today we're going to use this simple Batman logo in memory of the great Adam West, the only true Batman, as far as I'm concerned, to uh, show you guys and girls how to solve that problem. Now, if your info panel isn't open in Photoshop, we're going to want to open it. So we're going to go to Window, Info. The info panel is Photoshop's built-in densitometer, and it's very important. It'll show you RGB values of any uh, element that uh, you hover over or CMYK values or when in grayscale mode, it'll show you percentages of gray from zero to 100%. I couldn't do a color separation without it. Now, <clears throat> when we have our info panel open and we take any tool and hover it over the image, you'll see that it's comprised of RGB values 0, 26, and 110. Now that's not black. Now if this image was red or green or orange or pink, you know, it, it's still not going to be black. It's not going to be 0, 0, 0. So in effect, the image will print as a halftone. Now, as opposed to leaving this as an RGB, the absolute best surefire way to have this print as a solid black to your ink chip printer is to change its mode. That's the first thing we need to do. Now we already duplicated this image and now we're going to change the mode. We're going to go to image mode grayscale. Okay, now once we convert it to grayscale, you're going to say, okay, we're all good now. It's black and I could just output this to film, but it's really not. Now this is where your info panel comes into play. Now if we hover over our graphic here, and if we look up here in our info panel, and you'll see that it's only around 73% black. So if you output this to film, it's not going to output as a solid black. It's going to output as a 73% halftone. Now there's several ways to uh, get this up to 100%, but the most common is the use of curves. So let's go to image, adjustments, curves. And within our curves box, the uh, first thing you want to do is make sure your display options in the curve box is set to pigment ink percentage. That's normally how I like to work. And now grab your upper right hand handle and just drag it to the left right along the top until your image appears black. And now when we hover over the image, we'll see we're at 99%, well, 100%. And to make sure that's 100%, move it over a little bit, or you can keep your tool there and use your arrow keys on your keyboard to move that to the left or right. So now you'll see it was 73%, and now it's at 100%. Click OK. Now we're left with a grayscale, 100% black image with a single background layer and a single gray channel. Now here's one last tip. When you output this to film and you're using a rip, right? you want to either bypass the rip settings or change your rip settings and use a LPI of 300 lines per inch as opposed to a you know, usual 45 or 50 or 55 lines per inch. Upping that to 300 LPI is going to keep all of your lines and all of your, you know, corners and so on and so forth within your image as sharp as possible. Now, although the image does not contain any halftones, if you use a normal output setting of let's say 50 or 55 LPI, the edges of this graphic will not be as sharp as if you choose an extreme value such as 300 LPI. So just keep that in mind. And that's it. That's how you resolve the problem of a one color RGB image not printing to black from your uh, to your inkjet printer from Photoshop. Thanks a lot.